Okay, I have successfully ditched my MacBook Pro for an iPad Pro. And here's why. So this is the iPad Pro 2018 version, as you can see over here. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up. Um, I decided to get the 2018 version because this is actually a used model, which means that I don't have to spend as much money to get the 2021 version. It's just overall better for my wallet. Uh, one of the main reasons why I switched to the iPad Pro is because the MacBook Pro is naturally a lot more bigger and cumbersome because the keyboard is always there. So whenever I want to watch movies at night, on my bed, I have to sort of like prop it up and it's just really cumbersome. I have to do this belly balance thing where the keyboard of the MacBook is sort of like balanced on my stomach. Uh, this is just a lot lighter, a lot slimmer as well. Also, if you do want the keyboard, it's so easy to find a cheap keyboard case online. If you do want the keyboard to be there as an option, I do have this one with the pencil holder over here and we have this sort of back kickstand. So now you have sort of a laptop. So overall, it's just a lot more enjoyable to consume content on this device. Reason number two, the Apple Pencil. Now this isn't the original Apple Pencil by Apple. This is actually just a cheap knockoff one that I got. It is not pressure sensitive and you have to charge by USB-C. However, I can't really justify spending uh, about a hundred over dollars on an Apple Pencil when I don't really draw or sketch that much. A lot of the things I use my Apple Pencil for is just for jotting down notes and stuff like that. So let me explain why Apple Pencil support is so important for me. It's because I honestly prefer writing my notes instead of typing. There's something just so traditional and satisfying about writing on a piece of paper that is replicated by the Apple Pencil and I just prefer writing instead of typing. The MacBook also limits you to just the Notes app and other apps that are typing based. However, this for, for the Apple Pencil to write stuff, we have so many different apps. We have Notability, we have Good Notes 5, we have so many different apps that supports amazing writing experiences and with the amount of apps that are out there, it's a shame if you don't pick up the Apple Pencil along with your iPad. Also, just a really quick note, if you were to read a document, it's just natural to read it in a vertical format rather than a horizontal format. That's just my opinion. If I were to read an ebook, I would naturally read it vertically. Uh, it, it's just, it's a small little thing, but it's just so much more enjoyable to read vertically than horizontally on a MacBook. Reason number three, the MacBook overheats like crazy. It is, it sounds like a jet taking off every single time I do something a little bit more intensive on the MacBook Pro. Uh, you know what, let me just play it for you. Pretty dang loud. So um, the iPad can do whatever I need a MacBook to do without breaking a sweat. So I could play Spotify on one window, I could open Microsoft Word on another and sort of type my essay while listening to music and it just doesn't break a sweat. It doesn't even overheat. So the MacBook that I have is the 2017 version. So of course it's not as updated as the newer MacBooks which definitely won't have an issue. But uh, instead of getting the, the new MacBook, I decided that it's just a lot, it just makes a lot more sense to get an iPad instead. Cause the things that I need to do on the go are stuff like typing up a document, writing my scripts, uh, sketching storyboards for my YouTube videos like this. So having a laptop almost hinders the on the go experience that I actually want. Now, okay, okay, I know a lot of people are just gonna tell me, but hey, you can't do heavy editing workflows on it. You can't do real Photoshop on it. You can't really have the best Lightroom experience or the best Premiere Pro which isn't even on the iPad by the way. So there's no Final Cut, there's no Premiere Pro on the iPad and I'm not gonna be one of those guys who say oh there's LumaFusion, there's Dark Room and stuff like that because the truth is professional based workflows will always be professional based workflows and they will never be carried over to the iPad. So if you're getting an iPad to do those heavy intensive work then don't get the iPad, get the MacBook Pro or Better yet, get the PC. I have my PC and I do all of my heavy editing stuff on my PC. I do Photoshop here, Lightroom, 
Premiere Pro, After Effects, everything is on my PC, which means that I don't need any of these things on my MacBook. For my MacBook, all I need is to type down documents, to write scripts in order to film these videos and make these videos for you guys to watch. And the iPad definitely does that better than the MacBook Pro. For instance, I can't sketch on a MacBook Pro, whereas on the iPad, I could literally sketch out every single video that I want to create, that I want to shoot, on the iPad. So I, I, I think I'm not here to convince you that the iPad is better than the MacBook Pro. I'm just saying that the iPad is better at what it does and what I need as a filmmaker when I'm on the go. And for professional tools and workflows and stuff like that, we do definitely have a dedicated device for it. If you're the kind of person who is looking for just one device in order to do everything that you need, then I'm pretty sure the answer is to get the MacBook Pro because it makes so much more sense because you're able to run professional software on Mac OS and it will never come to the iPad. All right, the fifth, fourth, fourth, fifth, fifth reason I think is ProMotion. Uh, I know this sounds really stupid, but like I love the really quick refresh rate on the iPad and the moment I started using the iPad and how smooth and buttery the animations are. Going back to my iPhone XS Max sort of feels like my phone is lagging. The whole iPad experience just feels a lot more fun and enjoyable to use. Okay, these are my reasons why the iPad Pro is definitely the device for me. It may not be for you. I'm not here to persuade you in any way, shape or form. So if you resonate with the reasons that the iPad is good at what it does, you could sketch, you could write notes, you could do so much more content consumption in a very quick, fast-paced manner. If those are reasons that stand out to you, then the iPad is definitely for you. If you're looking for a powerful workhorse that can run any software you need, then get the MacBook Pro. Uh, with that being said, these are my reasons why I have now chosen the iPad Pro and why I think that a lot of people would definitely agree with some of the points that I make. Uh, with that being said, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel as I make a lot of tech videos such as this one. This is DDT, signing off.